Hello and welcome to the video. So today I have yet another Wilhelm build. I see class mods and I make a build around it, don't judge. Uh, <laughs> so this one is a bullet hose. I found a fire rate and mag size class mod and thought, hmm, I could probably make Wilhelm pretty insane with this. And yeah, I have ease nuts now. I think I prefer this to Laser Helm, just because how quickly you can tear through things, it's absolutely nuts. Uh, so the build, I wanted to go Dreadnought to get Overcharge, but that's this entire tree, I, I don't want it, and I only want that skill. 75% fire rate, but it's only for 10 seconds. And I kind of wanted Welcome to the Gun Show and Rolling Thunder and Escalation and Suppression. Suppression alone would deny me Welcome to the Gun Show if I went for Overcharge. So I didn't bother and I didn't end up putting any skills in Dreadnought. So tank is a bit of an issue but you can get second wins very easily and the fight for your lifetime just don't seem to be broken so that is awesome first skill mana machines I'm not using lasers so mana machine second skill first to fight just to progress down the tree third skill targeting scope critical hit damage and accuracy you kinda need it uh, third skill emergency response yeah <laughs> fire rate reload speed whoa, whoa. It's it's bullet hose. It's what we want. Fire rate. Divert power. Tank that we kind of need. We took this out. It, it it would it just wouldn't work. <laughs> you you would go down a little bit too much. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the gun show. You're. Better with guns in nearly every regard. It lacks the fire rate, but it's got reload speed, mag size, accuracy, weapon damage, recoil reduction. You make that up. It's such a good skill. Fire support, more damage, suppression. D do I need to explain? Okay. I'll explain. You get a kill, then you get, and then you do more damage. You, you, you pump out more bullets. And that's good. Laser guided, because one point in that's better than these two, and laser guided is a very good skill. Rolling thunder, I've just gone with four points, just because got one in scramble just to get the effects, and then four points in rolling thunder, just so wolf can actually do something. And escalation, because critical hit damage, more wolf and saint. So there are the skills. Gear, we have a ferocious shredder fire, because it's really good in this game. I did test out some other Vladoff weapons, but nothing beats the Shredder Fire. The Long Nail, this is extremely high DPS. You can kill most basic enemies very, very quickly. 
The main problem is, is ammo consumption, meaning it won't be a main weapon, but if I have a mini boss, I will usually freeze them and then shoot them in the face many, many times. It's fire because I don't have to worry about shields. Having a shock long nail would be like... I don't know. Yeah, it'd be completely useless. <laughs> so, uh, I went fire. Phrygia, because all the fire rate makes things, this tears through things and with the ice makes it very, very nice. And as I say, I use this to freeze badasses, mini bosses, that kind of thing. And then uh, wail on them with the long nail. Or if they've got low health, just the fridge is good enough. The stopping torrent. That fire rate. <laughs> this is an insane SMG. And it's got really good damage. And it's nuts. It really is nuts. And with just a bit lower damage than the long nail, it kind of becomes a bit broken in the overpowered. Miss Moxie Slammer, you... <laughs> I prefer to go with a Bulwark or a Fable Tortoise or a Sham just for tank because it does kind of need more tank. However, this is about bullets and sending out lots of them and picking up one of its boosters does make a difference. Overwhelming equalizer. I found an equalizer in a vendor and I thought, hmm. That could get pretty insane. Six points in suppression and five points in rolling thunder. The other skill is venom bolts, which is useless, so mag size. Uh, mag size, rolling thunder. But it has mag size as well. Uh, Arctic strafing run Oz kit. I looked through all the Oz kits and there are a couple that look good, but I decided to go with this one. It requires you to be bouncing around a lot, but. Nothing matched the fire rate of 33.1%. I look at some gun damage ones, I look at some others, but this was definitely the best. It's got rubbish slam damage, but that's okay. It's ice, as long as you can freeze an enemy with it. That's all that matters. Good O2 capacity. Not like it overly matters much. At least you can explore for a while. And then fire rate and reload speed. Because pumping out bullets. And again, grenades, they're all the same as in the first game, really. First game, second game, technically. Yeah. So, that is the Wilhelm Bullet Hose build. You, you send out lots and lots of bullets in a very short amount of time, making it very ammo inefficient. But does it matter when the enemy dies pretty quickly? No. Thank you for watching. See you next time.